Hi, this is Hugh Culver, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how I use Scythe to keep track of a lot of the metrics that um, I really find interesting with my business that I want to keep pay attention to. So this is a wonderful way to really quickly get a sense of what's going on. So with the free account in Scythe, you get to add five widgets. So each widget is a separate piece of information that's pulling from one source. So here I have a blank dashboard to start with. So let's go up and add a widget. We'll start with something really easy. So we'll go to Facebook. I'll go to my pages and then I have to configure the widget. And so I'm going to drop down, find my Facebook page. There it is. And I'm just going to um, look for an overview. Now there's all sorts of things that I can pull from Facebook, but I'm just going to start with a simple overview. I go save widget and then it should pull that data directly in. And there it is. So there's my first widget. So pretty simple pretty quick to add and it's comparing month over month so you can see this month compared to last month which is in or the change from last month which is in the green and then the top right of course you can change your date um, so and if you go to the premium version which I actually have in a separate account it will actually track my data so I can go back historically as well let's add another one so we'll go into Google Analytics which is going to be down in uh, Google Analytics here under web analytics I go add, configure, uh, I go and grab my account, uh, I grab the uh, website that I pull from, and I'm going to go in this case to, the metric is going to be content, all pages, so I scroll down, and I find that, and there it is, and I really like this widget because it's going to show me the most popular pages on my website over the last 30 days, so that's really great for when I go to write my blog, I can look at well what's been really popular and trending and I can start to write more content like that. Let's go and add uh, Twitter. So we're going to go to social media. We're going to go down and find uh, Twitter. There it is there. And let's go and configure that one. And so I go find my account. I type in my, my account name here and we'll just uh, do an overview. And let's see what it comes up with. So there you go. So there's my Twitter feed. So as you can see it's pretty fast. Again you get five free widgets with each account. Let's go into, we use Infusionsoft, so we're going to go into, uh, where is it, there it is there under sales and finance, so I go add Infusionsoft, we're going to configure the widget, I'm going to add my account which I've already put in there, in this case I'm going to go and look at my contacts, so this is going to give me an idea of contacts been added in the last 30 days, which is obviously a really great measure of success, so that's uh, we're going to put that widget in there, just move this one down just a little bit over here like this, uh, and so stack them up. You can spend lots of fun hours trying to stack up all your widgets here like this just to get them organized. Uh, so you've got a nice little pretty dashboard happening. So there's my Infusionsoft um, widget that I've added in there. Let's just for fun go in and now I'm at four and so I can get one more in there. Let's go and let's add um, a countdown. So just for fun, let's let's go and configure that one to my birth date. So so it's going to be uh, four seven two zero oh, one eight. You can make sure you send me a send me a present. So there we go. Save widget, and this is going to show me the number of days left to. Actually, this is when I turned sixty. So that's in three years, more or less. So there you go. Uh, let's go and. Uh, just for fun, let's go to other and let's add the weather. Let's see if this works. Oh, I have to upgrade. So, sorry, that's as far as I get to go. So, with my account now, I'm full, right? I've added five in there, but I could I could go and I could remove this one and I could go in and I could add uh, the weather, for example, just for fun. So, let's see how that works. So, we'll go in. I'm in Kelowna, uh, BC, and let's see what it comes up with. So there you go. So it says that uh, it's in Fahrenheit, 40 degrees, and it's cloudy. So I can put that one in there. Um, let's remove that one. We'll add one more. And just for fun, let's say, what if I wanted to add an image? So where is image? I think it's custom. Uh, there, image. So custom image. So as you can see, you can pull from all sorts of things. You know, if you're in, uh, if you're using PayPal or um, uh, Shopify, Stripe, Zero, FreshBooks, Eventbrite, you can pull from all that sort of data. So there's just an enormous amount of, 
uh, sources that you can pull from. You can pull in spreadsheets, which I've done before from Google Analytics, so that's fantastic. So about every 15 minutes that's being updated. But let's say I wanted to add a widget with an image in here. Well, I go configure widget. Uh, I'm gonna go and pick a file. Uh, the file's gonna be pretty small, but let's go and load that up there. And there you go. So I've got a picture of my family. So as you can see, it's pretty fun. You can create a whole bunch of different widgets and it's uh, at scythe.com. You can get started with free uh, five widgets and I hope that really helps. So enjoy and we'll talk to you really soon.